This video is for how to do the slip stitch edge when you're working a garter stitch fabric. So we just pick up the yarn tension, take your needle, right hand needle, underneath your yarn, insert the needle purlwise. off. See how my left hand just kind of pushed it off? I'm not stretching here at all. This is very tight. It's not, I'm just not, well it's not tight, I'm just not stretching it. It's just normal. And then put the yarn between the needles and then just start knitting. To the end of the row and we'll might as well cover that to end stitch again without being dropped. <laughs> so I insert the needle knitwise because I'm, I'm knitting the stitch. It's just off the left hand needle right now. So I'm going to Put my yarn around and I'll take the left hand to make the stitch and it's nice and snug. Right? See? Let's do it again. Okay, slip stitch edge. I've tensioned my yarn. Take my needle behind the working yarn, insert purlwise off the needle, yarn between the needles, and start knitting. No stretching. Last stitch, go to knit, let it fall off the left hand, you can put it down, yarn around because you're making your stitch, pull it through and down onto the shaft of the needle, nice and snug, making a nice little slip stitch edge. Okay, you want to do it one more? Tension the yarn. Right needle behind the yarn. Enter purlwise. Off. Working yarn between the needles. And start knitting. No stretching anywhere. Okay, that's showing you with the thick yarn. Now we'll do the lacy yarn. Nice weight. Same thing, just a lot lighter weight. Okay, tension the yarn, right hand needle behind the yarn, enter purlwise, <clears throat> pardon me, off the needle. See how I'm holding both needles in this left hand? 
because sometimes it can fall out. And then just start knitting. Seeing as there's, oh, look what I did. I split the yarn. I don't know if you can see that. But I would just take it out and redo it. And if you come to a stitch where you've split it, do exactly that. You can turn the work around like it, you would have made the split in the first place. Take it out, redo it with your crochet hook, put it back on the needle, and you can turn it around and knit again. So it's all corrected, easy peasy. You can't go one row without finding your mistake if you're paying attention. Okay, I'm gonna take this out, so I'm gonna tink back. So, tension the yarn, take your working right hand under your working yarn, enter purlwise off the left hand needle, working yarn between the two needles to the back, and then just start knitting. You see as I'm knitting, I'm with these two fingers I'm kind of pulling it down so I can expose that stitch and I just kind of push it out of the way right so you can really see what you're doing and I advance these stitches with your left hand pull down pull down Pull down. Okay, I'm going to keep going, but uh, 300 stitches is going to be a while, so there you go.